Hi guys, this is a bit of a different video for me, but I thought I would film my scrapbooking process. I usually buy the large paper chase scrapbooks for my scrapbooking, but this time I had to buy the wedding one because I had the other ones. So this is the inside of it, there's these pockets, and then right at the back there's six little pockets, which I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with yet. The scrapbook cost £18. I always order my photos from Snapfish and get them delivered because I find them to be a good price and they quite often have deals on. Then I, when I get the photos I organise them with sticky labels for each topic. So with this scrapbooking process video I'm going to show you the double page spread that I'm doing for a Titanic day out. So I tend to use a ruler and a pencil instead of a guillotine and then I draw around the cellar tape to cut out circles. As well as using photos, I quite often use postcards, leaflets, receipts and old tickets. And so I cut, fussy cut out little bits and this, that was the leaflet once I'd finished with it. After this I start laying out where I want the photos to go and just organising how... because I don't want the pages to be too crowded. In this pink folder I keep my papers and they're separated by colour. But I tend to buy the six inch papers pads which I'll just keep in the pads. So I flick through my papers and decide what sort of theme I'm going with. This is usually the same as the same sort of colour scheme as the photos. And I like that one I just picked out is a Christmas one, but I'm gonna use the other side of it. And then I use a pricked glue stick to glue the papers down and cut them out and then glue other bits down. This little pad from I think from the range is useful because it's the same size as the circles just have a little border Yeah, so I always use a big pair of kitchen scissors for the straight lines rather than a guillotine as I said before and I just find it a lot quicker because there's not that much space on my desk for a guillotine as well and then you can see my laptop on the left whilst I was doing this scrapbooking layout I was watching Normal People um, which is on the BBC iPlayer on my laptop and I would recommend it, it was quite funny. Oh, oh yeah, I use double-sided tape for the postcard because it's a bit thicker than the other photos, just to make sure it's all secure. And then here I am trying to work out layouts. Then I get my washi tape draw out and I put it on the side next to my laptop. So I also use stamps and stencils. 
This time I decided to use stencils, but I more often use stamps. So I use a ballpoint pen just to go inside the letters. So that's what the page looks like so far. Then I get the washi tapes out so that I want to use. So they're mostly blue. But then I've also got this copper tape, copper coloured tape, which I'm putting down as well for a little bit of colour. So I use the washi tape to fill in gaps and I like it because it lays flat on the pages because I don't want the scrapbook to be too thick when it's finished. So I quite often cut the washi tape at a 45 degree angle. Okay, now I'm doing some journaling and I'm writing down some memories from the day out. Um, I always use a black fine liner pen. I also did a little bit of research and I wrote it down on that green post-it note and now I'm writing it out. It's just like some facts about the Titanic. So I wanted to copy those down. I really like this sticker set from Hobbycraft. Well, both of these sticker sets. They've got these big letters and they're all quite flat and simple. And I'm just quickly writing the date down. So I went for this day out just before lockdown began in Northern Ireland. So I'm just doing some stickers to label some photos and fill in any gaps. I don't actually have any boat stickers, so I think I've just gone with a hearts theme. But then some of the papers are water themed. Then I get my stickers draw out and start looking for stickers that might be good to fill in the gaps and add more details. Um, yeah, so I have a lot of stickers that weren't really suitable. But then there's these travel stickers from Hobbycraft, so I decided to stick a little globe down. Okay, so this is me. I'm going to show you my final page now. So please could you let me know if you enjoyed this process video by pressing the like button and then I'll try and make a few more. Thank you for watching.